Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. This is my collection video. I've been waiting three years to do, it, to do this. This is the first time that my entire collection has been put out on display and I'm super excited to uh, show you what I've got. Now, two things. First thing is that if you get pissed off or you don't like Iron Man, I suggest you switch over now and watch the Reviewer King's channel or Xenomorph's channel or SS Joe Ducati's channel because there's going to be a lot of Iron Man figures here. Unless, of course, you want to look at um, some synthetic humans, which I have a couple of those. So the second thing is, I think most of you guys know I only collect Iron Man figures and I have stock figures and custom figures and some custom pieces which I like to collect. Those figures are not for sale, you won't see them in many people's collections because they are custom figures or custom pieces that no one else will have or very few people will have. So I'm going to start off with my top shelf because that will be quite quick, they're stock figures that most of you guys uh, I think we'll have seen before. I'm actually going to switch this light off and show you what I've done. I've just hooked up all the lighting for the top of the Hall of Armors, so I'm just going to switch it on by doing that. So now all of the figures are switched on at the top with the Hall of Armor. So just to run through really quickly, I've got three Mark Fives in various stages of battle damage or suiting up. I've got a Mark IV secret project, I've got the standard Mark 42, moving across, I've got the Mark 7, the Milk special edition war machine, I actually really like that Milk war machine, it's one of my favourites. Another favourite is that uh, secret project, secret project Mark IV because I love the paint app on it. It's really good. Standard original War Machine Mark VI and a repainted Mark VI. That's the only sort of custom paint job or custom figure I think you can call it on there on the top shelf. So just to go back a bit, I've got five on one side and five on the other. So I've got ten figures on the top shelf and that's just panning across and again that top light is controlled by remote so I can just switch it off like that when I'm done. So let's move down to the middle shelf. It's a little bit bright on the left. So I've got a red snapper with a custom Tony Stark helmets and the pose I've got in and the pose I've got him in is in a fight scene with a synthetic human having his helmet kicked off. The claws have been taken off as well that's not a tough mod to do. I've got synthetic human here with a cheap Captain America shield it's actually one of my kids shields I just picked that up off that one of his toys and I've put a wrist repulse on him He's shooting into the back of a Midas, Mark 21. I've got the Iron Patriot, again, with the faceplate coming off, because he's just taken a crack on the chin from another synthetic human. What I've decided to do with these poses, I want them to have a... Uh, dynamic battle scene so it tells a story all of these little poses tell a story so we've got the heartbreaker another one of my favorites mid flights providing some aerial cover this is the original synthetic human this is actually really really hard to find in Hong Kong really rare piece here he's actually holding the war machine 2.0 cannon. Another synthetic human with a rifle. I have no idea what type of rifle that is. I just picked it up from a shop that I thought was quite nice. Another synthetic human holding Thor's hammer flying through the air. About to clobber 
War Machine 2.0. That face mask is a repainted one from a um, Iron Patriot. That's custom as well, so it's not a standard piece you can pick up anywhere. So that's the pose on the left hand side of this middle shelf that I've got. That's that fight scene. Moving across here, I've got the Python providing aerial cover again. The Mark 42, let me zoom in a bit, hope this will focus. Taking the faceplate off the synthetic human. This synthetic human has taken the faceplate off the Mark 42 using it as protection. So moving across, almost finished the middle shelf. Standard red snapper, no mods on this one. Synthetic human in a matrix style flying pose. The poseability of these synthetic humans what is what drew me into them. They're absolutely amazing for poseability. Silver Centurion with his trademark wrist blades and I've got him posing up against two synthetic humans with swords. These swords are from I think one of the G.I. Joe um, figures. I don't know which one I just picked them up from a shop again. And this is the the other side of the synthetic human. And the Peacemaker at the back, getting ready to fire his repulsors onto this chap at the bottom. So, just to show you a quick overview, that is the middle shelf. Much more dynamic than the museum poses at the top. It shows a battle scene, which is what I wanted to recreate. I've still got a little bit of room for expansion for things like the for Bones, uh, the Hulkbuster, which will be coming out. I'll be having the Star Boost and also the um, Whiplash 2.0. Now, switch that light off at the bot at the top and bottom because I want to show you what else I've got here. This is my little custom corner. Some of you guys may have seen this already in some of my videos. But just to show you, these Hall of Armour I built. These three Iron Man figures are custom battle damage and extreme series, I call it. This is a Silver Centurion extreme battle damage. And I'll just zoom in a little bit here so you can see the quality of what has been done by the customizer. This is a full on battle damage series, I'd say. This is an extreme combat version, repainted, a few new parts added to it. This is from the original War Machine. One of my favorite pieces. And I think this is probably my favorite piece. This is a Mark V, extreme battle damage. The customizers put in wires, cut more parts out of it. Extremely beautiful piece. Awesome work. He spent a long time creating this. So I'm just going to pan back a little bit now. And I have, as you guys know, everything on remote control. So. This is the backlit lighting that I have. This comes out from the base. A couple of months ago when I was designing this, I asked um, a lot of collectors what their view is on the lighting and how I should do it. And this is the, I'll say the overall consensus is the best looking lighting. So that's what I've done. Just to highlight the backdrop. Slightly higher angle. So, I also have a spotlight overhead as well, which I can switch on. There we go. 
just some additional lighting from that side. So all of this is made by 5mm high density acrylic, black, clear, cemented together with um, what we call acrylic, acrylic glue. The only thing I didn't make is the backdrop. I'd order that from a uh, shop, online shop. So I'm going to switch all this off now. Moving across, another sort of custom area I have. Let me pan down a little bit. Okay, I have this on remote again. So what I've got here is the Mark V that he's holding is the arc reactor from Whiplash, which lights up. On top of that, this is the blue headsets of Tony Stark. The blue LED lighting has been added in, all linked up to his hands, chest reactor, wrist gauntlets, and also his feet. Not sure if you can see here, but his feet light up as well. That at the moment is shining downwards on this little sort of platform here, and I've got a wrist repulsor at the back, which actually I've added an LED as well. That that lights up. So I'm going to switch this off so you can see it when it switches on. So that's off. This is on again, and that's that wrist repulsor. Okay. The Grail mystery piece I've decided to not show on this video. I'm going to use a separate video to upload what will go in there as my centerpiece. So moving across, this is starting to wear standard uh, stock figures you can get. This is just the gantry with a Mark IV, no real mods or changes to it, straightforward, straight out of the box. At the bottom here, some accessories you get to the VIPs. These are the VIP special uh, bonus accessories. These two, custom built, I, I, they're similar to the mech test, but I didn't buy the mech test, I'm not too fond of that, so I decided not to get it. And these are the wrist repulsors. I like to have a few because if I have to mod things, I might break them. So I have a few. So this is another little custom table. Let me try and zoom in a little bit. Hopefully the, the quality will come out okay. These are one in sixth scale arc reactors. Um, I found them in a customizer shop. He doesn't, actually not a shop, he's more of a friend and he said, oh, I've got two sets of these, I'm keeping one, do you want one? I said, yeah, they look fantastic, so I'll, I'll take the, I took them off him. Um, he doesn't really make them, so I'm afraid they're not for sale. That's a holographic, similar to the Mark II bonus VIP piece. This is a custom cut, battle damaged, Mark IV, custom battle damage Mark V, standard War Machine 2.0 and Mark V. Just wanted to put those two together so you can see how the work has been done on that. So it's moving across to the end now. I have the Mark II Armour Unleashed and I've got the Synthetic Humans working on him. One's holding a screwdriver, thinking, God, I've got to repair this quickly. This synthetic human's going, hmm, which wire shall I cut? I'm not so sure about that. Let me have a think. So that's how I've got that displayed. This is the standard um, table that Armour Unleashed comes with. And the lastly is Ironmonger with the Mark III crushed helmet. 
and this is stock no modifications nothing done to it at all this is just the Hulk um, girder or metal broken pillar from the Hulk set I think so just to quickly show you the overview just one other thing I wanted to let you guys know I'm not a completist collector you won't see a mark 1 version 1.0 or 2.0 you won't see the mark 2 1.0 you won't see probably any mark 3s I'm just not a fan of the mark 3 um, either the original the battle damage or even the die cast I may not even pick that up so um, just because they release it doesn't mean I necessarily buy them so just a last look I'm super excited because this is the first time I've got all of my collection out I think most of you guys on Facebook or YouTube know that I only collect Iron Man figures so um, a lot of people ask me questions about my collection or what can you do with certain figures etc etc so yeah I'm just really happy to get everything out look out for my mystery grail piece I have that uploaded in a couple of weeks probably and that's it thanks for watching guys I'm really happy that I can show you guys what I have thanks for watching and uh, appreciate all your support on YouTube and on Facebook take care guys thanks for watching